Hi, my name is Baynard Bailey. I'm going to show uh, my classmates and other educators out there how to use GCast to create a podcast using your cell phone or uploading other audio files. Uh, what you need to do is to go to uh, GCast.com. You need an email address to create an account. Uh, so you click sign up now and uh, you go to the create your account page. Type in your email address, your zip code, your password. You might want to if you want to get information from GarageBand, uh, keep this box checked, otherwise uncheck it. And here you're going to use your screen name. Now, uh, if you're a teacher, you probably want to keep this something recognizable and professional. Then you create your account. You'll get a confirmation email in your uh, email inbox. Click on that, but you can actually create your first, very first podcast without the confirmation email. Once you're all set up, you can log in. I'm logging in. I'm at home, so I'm going to have to remember my uh, cookies. Um, so now what we're just going to do is uh, make a make a new phone cast right here on the on the thing here. So now I'm going to call the number. Uh, I have it on my quick dial list, so I'm just going to scroll through my list. I get to the GCAS number. Put that over here. There's that number. Act, or you can create your own podcast using nothing but a telephone. Get your voice heard and reach all your friends and fans using GCAS.com. Please enter your four-digit password or PIN. So I just put Welcome. in my password. Now you can record a new audio clip. We'll give you a chance to discard your recording and start over. Begin recording after the tone. When you're done, press pound. Ready, set, go. Hi, my name is Baynard Bailey, and I'm showing uh, my fellow educators how to use their telephone to create a podcast using GCAST. This is an excellent website, and I hope uh, a lot of educators will take advantage of this wonderful feature. Thanks. To review your recording, press 1. To save and publish directly to your podcast, press pound. To save... Your recording has been published. To record another, press 1, otherwise press 2 or hang up. Goodbye. Okay, that's all done. I'm going to pause it and we'll check back on the website in a second to see if it uh, came up. So here's my latest uh, phone call. Hi, my name is Baynard Bailey and I'm showing uh, my fellow educators how to use their telephone to create a podcast using GCAST. This is an excellent website and I hope uh, a lot of educators will take advantage of this wonderful feature. Thanks. Uh, so now that's up there. Uh, I am going to delete it though because uh, I don't want my that podcast to supersede my most recent podcast for the Carver Center newsletter. So I'm going to delete the old one. Uh, so now it just has the newsletter which is showing. Let's click play. Let's see if we can get it to play. A little bit of lag there. But you can also notice down here, down below, I'm going to click pause for a second, I want to catch this up. Uh, they can subscribe with iTunes, Yahoo, uh, the Google Reader, their MSN, or NewsGator. These are all different RSS scanning readers or feeds that will uh, go out there and it, put those things into your inbox. So if you if you see my other uh, screencast and podcast, the podcast about the uh, RSS feeds and how those can uh, tie in into a technology program or into enhancing your classroom, uh, this is a great way to get into it because it's so easy. Just click on the button. As long as they're they already have these things installed or working, it'll go right to them. So this is my GCAS page as it stands now. It'll probably be this way for uh, a few weeks at least until I uh, update and have another podcast. Uh, when people go here, they can click on the flash control. Hi, this is the May 7th, 2007 Carver Center for Arts and Technology e-newsletter. Uh, my name is Baynard Bailey. I teach. So you can see uh, that's pretty neat. Like I said, people can subscribe to my podcast by clicking on one of these links. Uh, I'm going to log in again. You can see up here, I am not logged in. This is just the URL. I can send that out uh, in an email and people click on it and link on it. If there's a snow day, my students could be instructed to sort of to go to my uh, podcast page and uh, get the updated information about what might the assignment might be for that day. Additionally, 
hopefully I, I can have all my students are subscribing to my podcast and I could be subscribing to theirs. So when I make something new or they make something new, it'll come to our, our, our RSS readers automatically. Wouldn't that be great? Or our iTunes or however we choose to listen to audio. Here's the master playlist. You can see any recording that I've ever made is, is in here. You can see I've been playing around with it a lot. I can click on one of these. It'll. This is the archive. These things aren't being published right now, but they're just uh, there. Hi, my name is Barry Bailey, and I'm sharing with my fellow educator. As you can see, I've been thinking about this and playing around for a while. Um, uh, I just want to show you the upload new audio. If you do make podcasts uh, on or have an, an, a podcast library, you can upload them and tag them yourself. Uh, one of the ideas I heard at the Mika conference was that within the new internet, we're going to have to organize and sort things and tag things ourselves. So this is a great way to uh, describe what your podcast is about and then publish it. You can either save it to the master playlist or publish it out of a description. I'm not going to do that right now since I already have exactly what I want. Um, there are some other features available, but I encourage you to explore those and learn those on your own. Thank you for watching my screencast.